Welcome to Issues in Japan. The topic this time is what Professor Emeritus Yuji Otape of Shizuoka University of Social Welfare think of Komuro's behavior, which drew a great deal of attention from the public. Kei Komuro returned to Japan in an emergency on September 27. What did Professor Emeritus Yuji Otape of Shizuoka University of Social Welfare think of Komuro's behavior, which drew a great deal of attention from the public? There are some who argue that we shouldn't criticize his hairstyle and clothes, or that the people are turning into a little mother-in-law, but I cannot be swayed by such opinions. The reason why the people cannot help but feel uncomfortable is because they can see from the appearance of Mr. Komoro and the Komoro family that they have been behaving in a way that lacks sociality and morality. The imperial family has always been mindful of the need to be close to the feelings of the people. The people have also been paying respect to the imperial family. Whenever I attend hearings of expert panels or TV programs on the theme of the imperial family, I always make sure that I am dressed in a way that is not disrespectful to the other party. This is because I believe that one should not talk about the imperial family in a disheveled manner. However, Mr. Komoro's long hair, his mother Kao's sunglasses, and their other behavior showed no respect for the imperial family and aroused public sentiment. I believe that this is the reason why the people of Japan are so dismayed and disappointed by this marriage. If Princess Meiko wanted to marry in the same way that ordinary citizens do, by imposing her personal will, she should have done more to suppress the privileges that the royal family has. Even if the lump sum payment was turned down, there is no doubt that being Mako's fiancé was taken into consideration when deciding on Mr. Komuro's enrollment at Fordham University and where to work. So the privileges of the imperial family were used. For example, what would happen if a school teacher used his position to give preferential treatment to one student whom he loved? Mako is doing the same thing. On the other hand, the Imperial Household Agency has been working hard to arrange press conferences and other matters, and Prince and Princess Akashino have said in public that they approve of the marriage, even if they don't really believe it. However, Princess Mako and Mr. Komuro have yet to express their gratitude. In today's Japan, it is impossible to stop their marriage, even if the Emperor is against it. Naturally, there is nothing the people can do to stop it. Mr. Komoro and Princess Mako understand this, and they are going ahead with their marriage. I even have the impression that the winner is the one who does it. In the hearts of the people, distrust and disappointment in the imperial family, which had no choice but to let Mako's marriage go ahead, will settle in. I feel that the people's respect for the imperial family, which has been built up over many years, has been trampled upon by this marriage. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.